we launched a tasty pastry. It's a low carb pop tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs. And we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Monday, August 9th, 2021. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Have you ever heard the expression, they're so far behind in the race that they actually think they're in the lead? Because that's the phrase that pops into my head every time I see new updates from Chris Bumstead lately. The reigning and defending two-time classic physique Olympia champ looks like he's well ahead of the pace he set heading into last year's contest. And up to this point, everything we've heard coming out of Chris's camp has been nothing but positive in terms of how he feels about his prep. Here's another thing to keep in mind about Chris. He's only 26 years old, which means he's still younger than Phil Heath was when he won his first Olympia title. So if he still hasn't even reached his peak yet, and this is where he is now, we could be looking at another decade of dominance that will be pretty much unprecedented in the modern era of bodybuilding. One of my favorite Jordan Peterson ideas is that we see what we aim at, which is why it's so important to aim high and focus our energy and attention on trying to dominate everything we do. I can guarantee you that if you asked Nick Walker right now what his aim is heading into the Arnold, and the Olympia for the first time, his response would essentially be championship or bust. The updates that we've seen coming from Nick and his team over the last few weeks have been crazy, like they always are. And I'd expect to see that ramp up even more as we get closer to October. Say what you will, but Nick's delivered every time out, despite people saddling him with expectations that would have been completely unrealistic for most athletes. But the thing is, he keeps clearing the hurdles no matter how high they are. And at the end of the day, that means that wherever he's aiming seems to be hitting the mark. With the Olympia being nine weeks away now, right around now is usually the time when we start to see those midway progress pictures trickle in from people that make you stop and do a double take. And if you've been paying attention to what James Hollingshead's been doing lately, that's exactly what you did when he released his latest update a few days ago. One of the things that jumps off the screen right away when you see these pictures is how he's been able to keep his waist in check with adding muscle that he's been doing during the off season, which is something bigger athletes like James struggle to do sometimes. That said, we still haven't had a chance to see what this bigger and better version of James looks like on the Olympia stage because he decided to sit out last year's contest. And when you think about some of the other names that occupied the back half of the top 10 last year, trying to figure out where he fits into that group should be one of the more interesting things to keep track of as we start getting closer to the show. We haven't talked about the Europa Pro Championships much lately, but since we're only about one week away now, I figured that we might as well get into it, starting with this brand new update from our old friend Nathan Diasha. As we reported a few weeks ago, Nathan moved back out to Kuwait to train at Oxygen and get ready for the show. And the sense I get from him is that he's feeling very confident about where he is right now. It's been so long since we saw Nathan in peak condition at a bodybuilding stage that I think people might be forgetting just how good this guy is because we're talking about someone who could be a legitimate top five Olympian this year. And if he shows up and blows everyone out of the water there in Spain, consider it a warning shot because what we see at the Olympia seven weeks later will be even more dangerous. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.